Hello, my brothers and sisters on the Dragon's Path. My name is Tim Heyer, and I believe in dragons. I do more than that. I love the dragon. I love the dragon so darn much. And um, there are no words, actually, that I can explain how much I, I love the dragon. Um, I didn't actually know that I loved the dragon so much. Before I was 18 years old, I just lived my life like nothing, and just as a, even a Christian. And, uh, yeah... I, I didn't even know that <laughs> I had so much uh, connection with the dragon. and um, But later I just realized that I was just hiding it and putting it away. It was something that it, what was hidden inside of me. But I didn't want to express it. I didn't want to show it. I didn't want to show it to myself. And that is a thing that you must do on the dragon's path. Be honest with yourself. Because this requires honesty. Um... I remember when I was just 10 years old or 12 years old, I used to collect skulls for some reason and I loved horror movies. Uh, yeah, but it was just a face, I guess, in my, in my moment. And, and, I, and I remember that I was walking in, uh, in uh, the mall with my dad and there were dragons for sale. Dragon statues. Very, very beautiful ones. And my, my dad said, wouldn't you, wouldn't you like to, uh, to collect this? This is much more beautiful than these, these skulls that you collect. And I, I looked at it and I said, oh my, that is actually beautiful. Uh, no, 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 no. I just want to continue to collect all of these death things. Uh, and that was, uh, I just didn't want to admit it. I just loved the dragon actually that much back in the day but I didn't want to say it to myself because everyone loves the dragon everyone likes it everyone wants to ride it but I didn't want to say it because back then even back then I knew that I was not worthy for the dragon but <laughs> that is the thing with most actually people on the dragon's path this humbleness actually Knowing how powerful, how beautiful, and how perfect actually the dragon is. This, this, this knowledge of, of the dragon. It's, it's, yeah. I, I just back in the day, even back in the day, even before I was awakened, I, I also said that humans are not uh, worthy of the dragon. Actually, humans are lesser. I, I said it back then. I say, I say it still today even before i was awakened but yeah later on i was awakened just by a simple trigger just also by a statue that that is still today on my altar just simple a simple trigger is enough to let the dragon through through the last gate and just yeah um like i said yeah i, I cannot express my happiness for that the dragon that the dragon came actually to me that the dragon decided or just to move heaven and earth, to do so much tr trouble and effort to go to someone useless like me. I didn't understand back in the day. And that is what was also the reason why I was pushing the dragon away. No, find something else. Some, find someone else. I am no one. Why should you? Why should you be here with me? You are losing your time. You, you are actually doing effort for going with someone who doesn't mean anything. Go to someone who has influence. Go to someone who, who is worthy of you. Later on, later on I discovered that this, this is a connection that you have with the dragon. You, your own soul and your spirit and the, the dragon spirit, they tell a story. They have something in the past. They, that is the, the reason why they are connected with each other. But then I didn't know that. I had dreams, I had visions about things like that. But back, back in the day when, when I saw the dragon and I saw its amazing power, amazing energy. And I saw this, this connection, this beauty of nature. Actually I didn't saw it immediately, I, I just felt it. And then I, I visualized it. And then I saw actually the most beautiful thing on earth. Then I said, no, go to someone else. Go to someone else. That, that is the humbleness, actually, that 
that said that the, why the dragon said yes i know it's you i know it's you you are always like that <laughs> it's not to say yeah okay the dragon um, the dragon made a good choice with me no it's because you are the one they are looking for for all these centuries finally you are born finally they knew it that you also are born with a gift of sensing feeling and even visualize the dragon and remember actually it's from your own soul you just sometimes we just have to remain silent and just remember the things that you never actually that never took place here and also listen to yourself for what the connection is all about I was lying to myself back in the day. No, no, I didn't lie. I don't like the dragon. What the dragon is for children. They make stories of it. No, no, the dragon is just stupid. That is, I said things like that. Because I was hiding it. But then on my 18th birthday, I could no longer hide it. Because the dragon appeared. And the dragon was going through beyond the last gate. Touching me. And everything awakened. It was like a rebirth. The old one was dead, and I was alive in just another kind of form. And I accepted the dragon, and acceptance is actually final phase before you can go on on your dragon's path. My brothers and sisters, be blessed.